And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Talia Ziggs. So going to be similar to Sharima Bandal City decks that we were playing yesterday. We're going to have a bunch of landmarks with this viewer submitted donation deck. Again, another deck that I didn't put together myself, but one that looks pretty solid. This is going to be a Herald of the Mages deck with Ziggs and Talia. Be able to get both of them to attack, do some Nexus damage. Whenever you have Talia leveled up, you can be doing two to the Nexus. If the blocker is gone, Ziggs leveled up, you're doing two to the Nexus. Plus every allied landmark that's being destroyed, you're, you're dealing two to the Nexus. So pretty cool little combination there. We're going to have the Arsenal again at the top end. Now the Arsenal, uh, the bug was fixed, so Spell Shield isn't permanent anymore. That's very good, for the, you know. But still, this card is still completely insane how good it is. It is just like playing a much better Victor where you only have to spend your eight unit mana for just a huge arsenal. All the keywords don't need to continue on. First, or don't have to keep continue like spending mana every single round. First time playing this Ser Servitude of Desolation card. I'm kind of excited about it. So summon a stasis statue. So that's one stasis statue total to store all of the allied units that were destroyed and landmarks, sorry, units and landmarks that were that died or were destroyed this round inside. So very excited about this. I think it could be pretty good. You know, you could have a, a board that's like wiped out during combat and you had different landmarks die. Seven mana, put it all into a stasis statue and you get it back the next round after that countdown one. That's pretty exciting. I want to try that. So we got that in here. Um, there are some bomber twins in here. Bomber twins is always pretty cool. That can get us some more landmarks and get us a, a two drop. Um, and then there's three copies of an unleashed energy. That's pretty, pretty... Um, interesting decision for the person that built the deck uh so we're gonna have three mana burst speed if we destroy an allied landmark give an ally plus four plus two well if we have ziggs and talia that have the overwhelm plus four plus two is going to be killing a lot of stuff plus th this this plus four plus two is just gonna be a really good protection spell and that kind of stuff but the thing that i'm really excited about this card is this gives us a burst speed way to destroy landmarks and why that's important is because of this Hexplosive Minefield. You can have this in play, and when it says destroy, stun the strongest enemy. Let's let's say you're in combat. You have this in play, you're in combat. Your opponent, um, like op or like even like you pass the round, they have a Scion in play, you pass the round, they open attack with their Scion, or they attack with something else, and they use like pump spells, make something very big that's gonna kill you. You can, during combat, burst speed, destroy this landmark, stun the strongest enemy, um, it's not like it's not like um, uh, Swain where that enemy has to be on the back row. It can be in combat and everything, so they can use like a few pump spells on something, and then you're like, boom, now it's stunned. I'm I'm excited about that. I think that could be pretty cool. We could unleash some energy. All right. Anyway, let's get to it. Let's play some games. We're talking about the deck for a while. That should hopefully explain it. Let's play some landmarks. Destroy the landmarks, and here we go with Talia Ziggs. Delphinus says, I've used that card all the time. Servitude of Solitude, and it's won me some games. Cool, cool. Good to know. All right, we got Sejuani Gangplank. We got a good opener. A couple of Scrappy Bombs to start it off. Get the attack token round one, and therefore round three also with the Ziggs. This is a good hand. And just Ziggs is like a really good attacker and having the unleashed energy to protect Ziggs. Pretty nice. Alright, so far so good. Now I gotta be worried about Make It Rain, right? So like I could play this other chemist, but Make It Rain kinda means maybe I shouldn't. All right, no make it rain right now, at least. To get rich. <laughs> wanna see what it does? And of course, they want to attack because they want to do the Nexus damage for leveling up their champions. If only I could play this Hexplosive Minefield with spell mana. Hey, there's the make it rain. 
At least it didn't kill multiple two ones. It only killed a singular two one. No, don't steal my cards. My cards are great. All right, we haven't destroyed any landmarks yet. Never mind. Check that. So it doesn't. Wait, it's supposed to tell us what keyword it has. Why does it not tell us the keyword? I don't understand. Hey, Kenner. Uh, hello. Kenner Rios. Kenner Rios. Welcome to the channel. Really? Why? What are they doing? Light the fuse. Well, let's see. I, I'm gonna naturalist get a grumpy rock bear because th when this thing's destroyed, we get the five three. So let's go get. So we get a five four and a five three by destroying this landmark right now. Feels like that's worth it. Three out of four. And I thought there was something good to see. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Mm. That blocks my fearsome. Or blocks Zig. Man, that was a good card to have. Man, this worked out pretty well for the opponent. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, so I don't know if, like, because they, they just changed the arsenal just, like, 20 minutes ago. to. Uh, so I wonder if, like, you're just not going to see the keywords now. I'm going to pass. Ooh. Okay. We have to destroy one more landmark. Which we certainly can. Let's get to it. No, challenge have the five four challenge. I want the five four to challenge. Yeah, put the let the five four challenge. Rude. Well, I guess. I guess we do get to kill the 3-3, three, three, but... Fight for your lives. Yeah, so the arsenal was just changed 20 minutes ago because... Um, so what it was changed is because it used to have spell shield infinitely, and so that bug was fixed to get rid of the spell shield infinitely. But now, I don't know if, you know, it should still tell us the keywords, I would think, but now it's not telling us the keywords either. And so I wonder if it's just not going to tell us the keywords anymore. Also, I don't know. Sejuani is so brutal. Sejuani is so brutal because Sejuani is perfect against the ars the arsenal also because of um... man yeah this is just so this is just brutal yeah because you can have all the keywords in the world but if you're frostbitten it doesn't matter. I had to kill I had to kill this crack shot corsair. Well, like why did I not kill this crack shot corsair? Yes, the new updates are here. 
I mean, yeah, it, dep it dep Sejuani depends on the matchup. There's some decks like this that if, if you can't kill Sejuani, you just lose, right? Because you can't attack through it. You can't do anything. And so, yeah, it does certainly feel like an unfair card at times. I can stun Sejuani, yes, by the Unleashed Energy, but I think I need to save that. I think I need to do that for the next time they attack. So they still have a spell that costs three or less in their hand from the spray fin. I, I really needed to kill that Corsair last round. I, I am losing this game because of that. That was a big mistake by me. Alright, Fearsome, Overwhelm, Quick Attack, Challenger. Spell shield. Oh, would you look at this place? For silver, I thought. For gold, I leave. You got caught. Now, scout. Yep. But so that's the thing is like I had to you, ha force them to use a spell like that last round instead of having the crack shot corsair just frostbite everybody. I had to force them to use a the spell, but it's it's unlikely this is going to go any better way for us. Mono Unraveled Earths. Coffee Lover with the Twitch Prime sub. Brand new Twitch Prime sub. Y'all get some hype in the chat for Coffee Lover. Thank you so much for that support. That's actually our first sub of the day. I forgot to update that at the beginning of the stream. Thank you, Coffee Lover. Good attack there with the elusive first. I'm just over here. I can stun Sejuani, yes, but it just but still they all get frostbitten. This this thing's over. Sejuani's the perfect card against the arsenal, right? The arsenal's like our big bad thing. Sejuani's perfect against it. I don't know what this deck's supposed to do against Sejuani. I don't I guess you you could play mini morph, I guess. Coffee Lover says, you two brought me over, and you are welcome. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, so we could play Mini Morph. I guess that's, like, the only option I can really think of, of, like, how to beat Sejuani. If they have, you know, if they can level up Sejuani, play Sejuani on 6, and then they just continually have ways to deal damage to the Nexus. I don't really know any other way to defeat that. Anywho, let's go ahead and keep this hand, I think. This on 1, this on 3, this on 5... Uh, five's actually kind of asking a little bit of a lot. No, we'll keep telling you. The Endless Devout dies. Oh no, I don't need another five. Okay, good, a two. So the Endless Devout's gonna die. And it's gonna have countdown three. So it will still be in play whenever, like if it dies on round three. It'll still be in play round five whenever we play Talia, so we can make another copy. And so therefore, round six, you know, we can get two, five, three fearsomes. You seen this deck with Minimorph? Sure, I'll take that trade. Crackshot Corsair doing that damage I can't deal with. I can block three twos. And the thing is, is like, 
they play Misfortune and then my 3-1 doesn't block at all anymore. So I'm taking that trade with the 3-1 while I can. That's a lot of damage. Oh, that's not good. Fortune favors the vault. Sands beneath me and winds behind me. That's not good with the misfortune. Okay, ready. Out of my way. Too slow, stupid. I can't let him make a rain. I can't just go with the plus two plus one because then a mega rain just stops that and I really want to kill this misfortune. But now I'm afraid I'm too slow. I'm definitely afraid I'm too slow. Alright, looks like we're about to be on two. That was just such a well-timed misfortune with that one damage to my blockers. Like, without that, we could have just, you know, simply played, you know, simply traded with the three, the three ones, trade with like, you know, these two things. Like the, that was just any other attacker, and then also played Talia last round. Round five with them misfortune, me unleashed energy. They won the game this that round. Mini morph that thing. Dust yourself off and try again. Perfect hand. Perfect hand. Great. One, two, double spell on three. Misfortune on four. Jack the winner on five. Darius on six. Like it doesn't doesn't get better than that. So Frostbite deck um, can also be a little bit of trouble at times. We get Ziggs. I went to Ziggs. Overall, pretty decent hand. So you think with with this kind of deck, with, without playing Jax's, you know, plays a lot of these styles of decks that you need Targon for Ground Slam, Chip, and Blue Sentinel. Those are all really good early game and also keeping you alive and all that stuff. The thing about Bandle is you have you get the Arsenal. That's like the the one thing that the Arsenal the Arsenal can cover up a lot of that. A lot of that stuff, but Targon, you also get you know some de decent interaction. You know, you can play Hush. I would prefer to. I guess we're just gonna have to do this. I'd prefer to have like you know Talia just be able to kill this thing for free, but. All 
Alright, that's a lot of damage towards a LeBlanc level up. Um, what do you mean by draw overload strategy? Just like a, a deck with a whole lot of card advantage? And just like tons and tons and tons of cards? Because I do have a recommendation for that kind of deck if you... If that's the kind of deck that you like. If you want to have all the cards in the world and the game is up to your decisions of if you're able to make best use of those cards... I would recommend this deck right here. That's Invoke the Shell Folk. You have all the choices. Any, if you lose any kind of long game with that deck, it's your fault because you have all the all the cards in the world with that deck. Okay, I am. What did you catch? Like threading a needle. Tag, if it's a fight they want. So they take still take six. We get some trades in. I'm glad no cooling strike. And only two cards left. This Tali is huge after the mages. Now that thing, that's now it's an 8 8. Oh yeah, now we got Ziggs. Now my boy Ziggs. Dang. Their deck is like famous for having like the largest units, but ours are just bigger. A little boom and one really big one. <laughs> one really big one. Dude, this is awesome. Faster than my arrow? I think not. This is going to stun Sons of Blanc. Right. Could definitely use a way to blow up some landmarks. I would, I would be all for that. Jack says they need to update some of the older level up animations. I would be all for that. That's will kill him. Like, blocking Talia doesn't really do very much. Just, you know, eats up like four damage, but then still has overwhelm. There we go. All right, Talia and Ziggs together with the Herald Mages giving them overwhelm. That looks pretty impressive. GG's. GG's. Yeah, I'd be all for that, because, yeah, the new animations are so good that some of the old ones look pretty poor, especially Teemo. Yeah, that was a good game right there. Oh no, Lulu Poppy. Alright, this is the deck that we are facing all the time these days. Only our first time facing it with this one. So we're going to keep these two? I suppose. I 
I don't know, maybe I keep this unleashed energy as well. Like, maybe I should be keeping just all of this. I agree that, like, Teemo, Teemo does need a new animation, and so once they had the new skin for Teemo, we thought that we were going to get a new animation for Teemo because of how poor the first one is. Um, but nope. No new animation for Teemo. That was really sad. The Arsenal! Alright, we gotta survive. Till Arsenal round 8. We do have the attack token round 8. Um, yeah. I'm not gonna use a minefield on that thing. <laughs> no, no, yeah, I don't think that Teemo animation is too good, unfortunately. Yeah, didn't you know we were playing Star Spring? Duh. Think they're gonna have their little one one kill my endless devout. Alright, we gotta keep stunning Poppy. I'm gonna block this one and keep them from continually gaining the. Um, okay, it still have zero power, but it just stays alive. I'm gonna keep getting the, the two ones for free. These loping telescopes are so good, and Bandel City Mirror making loping telescope is just perfect. this. See if they, Okay. I was really considered doing, you know, Unleashed Energy, try to block Lulu. Distance means so little when family means so much. So I'm doing the Preservarium not necessarily because I want the cards, like the cards are nice, I guess, but really because of getting another thing for the arsenal. This will be, you know, two landmarks destroyed for the arsenal. Yesterday we did very good against the Lulu Poppy deck. Today, not so much. Hands are seem to have been better today, and our deck's just not very good against it today. Yep, that's what I was kind of expecting. So that's lethal. Their hands have been very good today. Really good curve outs, the champions, good pump spells and rallies. It's just been a uh, showing of how good that deck can possibly be. Oh and three versus it today. Four and two against every, everything else. 
Yesterday we were either four and three or five and two against you yesterday, one of the two. I think five and two, but maybe four and three. Alright, back to Draven Scion. This is a good quality deck, that's for sure. Do I don't know. Okay, cool. Love this one, two, three. The Preservarium was the card that I was really debating about, was the Preservarium. I um, you know, could see needing to keep it if we didn't have other things to do, but I'd rather have something else to do. <laughs> Jay Maskell said, just faced my first Fiznami. Fiznami, sorry. Uh, it was tilting. I had no chance at all. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a powerful deck, lots of spells, and you know, if they have a really good hand, it's going to be a difficult one to beat, in it, or if you're playing a weaker deck, same thing. They can always burst speed in a 3-2 blocker, so attacking is always a little rough, but that's just kind of how it is. I don't think you really play around it. But yep, see, they could have done that and then blocked... play Ziggs, but if I play Ziggs, they can even just, even just this, like, they could play, like, a Daring Poro that blocks the Rock Hopper. Now we're cooking. Oh, got survival skills out of their hand. Now Ziggs' champion spell dealing one and one damage could be very nice against Draven Daring Poro. being a three mana deal one and one. Five five is not going to be easy though. Need to get this countdown started for all these other cards in hand. Ooh, that's a good draw. No My journey won't end until I'm through weaving it. Poro Cannon is really well positioned these days. That's that's a definitely a big strength of this deck is being able to play Poro Cannon. Really? Survival skills? Really? Really? I mean, if, if that's me, I'm blocking with Daring Poro, the, the unit that costs one mana, not the unit that costs four or five mana. I don't know, maybe, maybe that's just me. Let's go, Ziggs! Alright, I kind of hope they play Scion, because then that, that gives me opportunity to stun. We don't have any of our burst speed stun cards. That's not a good sign. 
Okay. Not the worst, though. Well, look who decided to join us. Mm -hmm. you are welcome. So doing it this way. We get two damage in with the zigs. Okay, so right now, I guess it challenges the 4-3. Or sorry, the 4-3 challenges the 5-4. Is that worth a minefield? All rocks erode eventually. That's pretty smart. Feel pretty good about this. So we we have two really good options, Harold of the Mages or the Arsenal. Because Harold giving both of these plus two plus two overwhelm sounds awesome. And I kind of think that that's the way to go. Um, but obviously the Arsenal is the Arsenal, and it would get it would get five total keywords right now. Yeah, I kind of think it's the, I kind of think it's Harold though. Um, yeah, I kind of think it's Harold. I I feel bad for not playing the Arsenal. But these two getting both getting plus two, plus two, and overwhelm, I don't know how they stop that. I don't know if they can. I could attack technically attack for one additional damage, so I want to replace the two four with the three the three three. But yeah, I was going to get blocked anyway. That is not them staying alive. So there we go. Overwhelm Ziggs. Overwhelm Talia. Good win against Draven Scion. A great deck. They didn't have Scion on 7, but we would have had an answer if they did with the stun. That stun landmark. Very important for that matchup. And we had a couple copies. And just a very good hand in general. Yeah, that mini patch was really good. That was a very good mini patch. Like, because that, going with that plus two, plus two overwhelm for both of them, you know, four additional attack, and they both have overwhelm. Well, no, Arsenal had high upside, but it also had some low downside. Right? Like, right? like Arsenal could have had, like, impact, um, like impact augment even spell shield doesn't do anything right there quick attack doesn't really do anything and fury right and they just like block the arsenal with a one one and it doesn't like there's there's definitely like five keywords it could gain and then it just can't get through a one one it just gets stopped by a one one and we have no overwhelm or anything all right, so there we go. That was Talia Ziggs. Only a two and three record, but I think our deck did feel pretty good. We just ran into some opponents that had some really, really good quality hands, and that's going to happen sometimes. There's still nothing that wrong with a two and three. Um, you know, nothing wrong, nothing that wrong with it. I did like how Talia and Ziggs, both champions, looked in this deck. Each time that we played the champions, they looked pretty strong. Herald of the Mages really looked good with those champions as well. Um, sometimes your opponents just have really good hands, and that happens. I liked the Unleashed Energy. It was pretty good with the burst speed for the Hexplosive Minefield. I did like that. Um, I could definitely see playing, as we kind of talked about with this, I could definitely see playing maybe a Mini Morph or two if we have to. Just to have that for those uh, you know, champions or cards that we just can't deal with that just kind of kill us. Uh, there are the Quicksands in here. So you, know, you have Quicksands and Unleashed Energy, but sometimes that's maybe not quite enough. And... Uh, you know, sometimes it's not. So maybe maybe mini morph, maybe siphoning strike, um, maybe some other kind of removal. I've been pretty happy with this ride of the arcane and ride of the arcane. Pretty good against that Lulu Poppy deck. Like it's it's pretty solid against both Lulu and Poppy. So I can see some copies of ride of the arcane maybe over some quicksands. The server two to De desolation we just never had. 
it is expensive maybe you know maybe replace one of those two i don't, I don't know but anyway uh, that's going to be it here though for Talia Ziggs. Maybe even just replace these Unraveled Earths. Our board, like this, this deck's pretty low to the ground and gets a lot of stuff on board right away. Unraveled Earth just seemed like a car that we never really would have had time for. So I could definitely see replacing this with a removal spell instead. Like, uh, the Ride of the Arcane. Anyway, that's going to be it here though for Talia Ziggs. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave those comments and let me know which of these champion combinations you've liked the best. So far we've played... Zareth Ziggs and uh, Talia Ziggs and Malphite Ziggs and Talia Malph... Right, Talia Malphite was from before, but Zareth Talia. All sorts of different combinations of these landmark champions that all work pretty well together. Like, all of them... Like, there's none of them that I don't think work. Like, they all work well. So it's just kind of co finding the combination that you're comfortable with, with your play style, and that you enjoy, but just... Uh, these landmark decks look pretty solid these days, so let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. All right, but that's going to be it here, though, for Talia Ziggs. So, as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.